Hey guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and today I'll be showing you a new um, project. It's called the Animal Racing Game. So, today we are going to be working on this two-player uh, racing game. Basically, each player controls one sprite hitting the arrow or D, the arrow or D key on the keyboard to move the sprite. The first sprite touches the object on the other end of the sp screen wins the game. So animal racing. We'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Variables. Forever and repeat until loop. I don't think we learned that yet. When key pressed, touching sprite and broadcast message. So I'll be showing you the demo. Um, so well, let's do this. So it's actually a two player game. So it says one, two, three, and it plays some music. So it won't let you move when you're doing the one, two, three. And then you control, you can control the sprite. And whoever wins, um, whoever wins, it says the cat wins. And then you cannot move the dog while the, the cat says the cat wins. So let's do it. Let's make a new project. So we can delete this sprite in the beginning. We can choose a backdrop. You can use any backdrop you want, but I'm gonna use blue sky. So we can use some sprites. You can use any sprite you want, but I'm gonna use the cat flying. Let's move it around here. And you go to here. And we also might need another one. So I thought the bear had too much costumes and it's too big for the thing. So um, I decided to use the dog. So we also need the bat for the coach or the referee or whatever you call it, the bat. So you can change the costume, anything you want, but let's just change the bat to 75%. We want it to be more smaller. So we can also change the costume to bat D. We can change this. You might, you might change the dog. We could change the dog a size too. So let's, we can move this around the same spot. That's around the same. So let's make it go to here. So you, you can pause the video whenever you need it. But right now, we can take the tennis ball and the balloon sprite. Um, where's the balloon? Yeah, we can use this balloon sprite. We can make the balloon smaller because it's a little bit too big. So about the same size. Let's make it to 65%. We also need the tennis ball. The tennis ball. So the tennis ball is really small to start out with. So we can change it to a little bit bigger. Let's do 180. Uh, let's make it around the same place. Around there. Yes, I think that's correct. We also have to make a variable called count. The count variable will help us help the bat count. So we can, so let's go to the bat. We have to start out with the if green flag clicked. Let's zoom in. Um, it will set the count to zero. We can hide the variable count later, but we can do it now. So we can, so you cannot see the count or you can use the hide variable count. Um, a uh, block. So I'll repeat three times. It will change the count by one. So it will keep on counting one, two, three, or something like that. And it'll say count, like you'll say one, two, three, that type of thing. Because it has the repeat three, so that's why it goes three times. for one second, or else two seconds is too long. So one second, and then say count. Um, and then you also have to say go afterwards because out of the thing. So then you can um, 
so then uh it'll say go and it won't keep, if you put it in here it'll say it like three times so when i broadcast you need a broadcast message let's make a new message so we need the broadcast message named start and then the next thing we're going to be working on is the cat flying so when i receive start race it'll go forever it'll wait until you need to wait until block the key right arrow you can use d for this one but i'm going to use right arrow is pressed then it will and then you also need another wait until and then you need an operator not key right arrow press because you cannot spam the um right arrow so it won't be so spammy so it won't last that so it'll last longer so you cannot spam it so and then i'll move 10 steps we can make it go to the next costume to make it look like it's flying because he has two costumes the flying and then you can also make it do if then yeah if then statement touching the balloon or yeah the balloon or whatever you got for it this thing balloon then it will broadcast cat win we're going to be getting back to cat win later so we can broadcast cat win. the dog is exactly the same code oh, no, not exactly but a little bit different so we have to do this for d we can use the d key or whatever you want the d key for this too not balloon one we need the tennis ball because dogs like tennis balls and then we also need a new message instead we gotta name this dog ball. so the next next one back to the bat and then when i receive cat win and it'll say the cat wins the cat wins. and then it'll stop everything you can duplicate that dog win and say the dog wins. And then for the dog and cat, you always have to do when I receive cat win, that means it'll stop other scripts. So you cannot move when you're when it stops other scripts in this sprite. Not stop all or else the bat cannot say who wins. So we gotta do this when cat win. And then we also need dog. So we can move this into the cat. So I got someone to play this for me. Um, we can play it together. So you click this. One, two, three. As you can see, I'm clicking it. It won't work. So I'm the dog right now. We click D to make it move. And it'll get the tennis ball. And the dog wins. So that's basically how it is. Before... We're done. We also have to add the music. When you can use any music you want, but I'm gonna use the simple music eggs. And then it'll go forever. And play sound eggs. So that's basically it. Please, before I go, uh, please like, share, and subscribe and comment in the comment section what you want. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.